This is such a highly requested video. Hi, I'm Emily. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a updated video of my review of the Bays bag. I'm actually going to be having probably multiple videos because these are going to be very long. And with that said, I will be putting chapters along so you can get to the things that you specifically want to know about. But I have received so many questions about the Bays bag, the Lululemon bag, all of that stuff. And so I'm going to do my best and do a very thorough review on it. So if you don't know, I'll link the original video from the beginning, but honestly, if you're watching that, it's old news. It's old news. Just watch the new videos. I bought a while ago the Lululemon bag and the Bays bag. And in that first video, it's me deciding which bag I should keep and which bag I should return. And ultimately I decided with the Bays bag. However, here I am again. I have both. I will do a comparison and talk about what happened and why I have both again and talk about each bag. This video is dedicated to the Bays bag. And that is the bag that I have used for the past. My daughter is 11 months next week, her entire almost first year. And I have loved it. I've definitely loved it. I think it's been a great bag and it's a great bag for many reasons, but let's first go through this first part is going to be showing you what the bag looks like, things about the bag, features and things you can use. And then at the end, I'll probably talk about pros and cons, why I have the Lululemon bag, all that kind of stuff. So don't forget chapters at the bottom. Sorry, this is long, lots of questions. I want this to be so thorough for you anyway. Let's get started. Here it is, the Bays bag. We love her. She is so great. It comes with several bags. It comes with the wet dry bag, which let me go get. Okay, I got it. It comes with this wet dry bag, which is great. I use this a ton. You can put, um, if you're not near a trash can, you can put like dirty diapers. Maybe you've been to the pool and you need to put their swimsuit into it. Anything nasty you put in this bag. You don't have to use it like that. You could put like their medicines and little like things that you keep in there, like Tylenol, Motrin, um, baby health stuff. That's great in this bag too, but I generally use it as the nasty bag because especially if you're traveling and stuff, there's not always a trash can and you need to put stuff in something. And this is great because you can rinse it out. So it comes with this bag. It comes with this fanny pack that's attached on the bag and technically I guess this is a technically a, like tiny bag it's the pacifier holder but I'm gonna go through each thing and I'm gonna start with the fanny pack so the fanny pack comes off super easy and I freaking love this thing the Bay's bag is amazing for travel if you're someone that travels all the time it was my ride or die bag I loved it um, especially because I would carry so much with me it's huge it's great there's so much in it but this is the bag that I use. I would put disposable diaper pads if you, on my Instagram. Actually, I'll link it in the description, but I show like how I change my baby on an airplane and stuff. And I pack everything in this bag. This bag is great. You can fit diapers, a little pack of wipes, all that kind of stuff. So when I would get up on the airplane, I'd put it on, I'd walk to the changing room and this is all I would bring. I wouldn't bring the full um, diaper bag. So this is great. You could also just kind of go out even with, if you just need like a tiny bag, you could, use this. A leather roll up um, changing pad fits in here. Um, tons of stuff. So this is great for multiple things. I just really only used it on the airplane. But yeah, so it it's got a bunch of space, all that kind of stuff. And then there's a sneaky little pocket right here, Velcro. And I would put like those one time use individually wrapped like I got binky wipes, I got nose wipes, I got alcohol wipes. I would just like cram a bunch of those in there. And yeah, that's this bag. Super great. I got a, it's wiped down clean. I have a little thing on it, but I guarantee I wipe it. It'll come right off. The base bag is really easy to clean. Then diving into the bag. So of course this comes with it. It has, you can put pacifiers in here. Then there's this little upper, this little flap part but there's a pocket on it. So it, it, 
you can open it, close it. It's magnetic, all that kind of stuff. I use this pocket to keep like my wallet, my phone. Um, I was, I'm blind. I wear contacts. I keep contacts with me all the time in case one pops out and gets crazy. Um, that's in this bag. Uh, sorry, this pocket. I keep things for mom in here. This is this is mom's section. Um, because if you saw my first video, you talk, I talked about how I was looking for one bag because when I travel, I don't wanna be carrying a bunch of bags. I want one bag. So my stuff had to fit in the baby bag as well. So this is mom's pocket. Put my AirPods in there, all that stuff. Diving into the bag. So there is this little pocket right here, it's Velcro. And this is where I would put like pacifier wipes, booger wipes. If I was traveling somewhere and I knew I was gonna pump for some reason, I put pump cleaning wipes in there. When I first made this review, I was exclusively pumping. And at five months, it's kind of weird. If you're interested in my breastfeeding feeding journey, check out, I'll link it in the description, my breastfeeding feeding journey. And you can kind of hear what I went through, but I went from exclusively pumping at four or five months to breastfeeding exclusively, no pumping ever again, unless I was on a vacation without the baby at five months and now we're 11 months. So I've, I've breastfed longer than I ever pumped. But the point being, when I first made the video, I was exclusively pumping. So I carried all my pump stuff in here. And this bag is amazing for that. It fits your LVs. Um, it has nice light, wide pockets for carrying your like milk chiller if you have one of those. I could fill breast milk bags and all that kind of stuff. So I would keep pump wipes in here too. This pocket is great. There's a, you get into it from the inside. This is where I would put alcohol wipes. So like I get on the plane, I immediately pull one out. I wipe down all the surface because the baby climbs over everything. She wants to put her mouth on everything. That's this pocket. It's so big though, that when I would put the alcohol wipes in behind it, I would actually keep burp cloths. So I would utilize it as like an inside pocket in the backpack. And then this side would be the alcohol wipes. So pocket inside, alcohol wipes outside. Then diving into the bag, the problem with this bag, and it didn't bother me before, but the zippers do not go down very far. This should go down to here because if you have stuff in the bottom of this bag, it's really hard to get to. So you need to strategically pack. You need to put stuff that you're not getting frequently on the bottom. So like the spare outfit, if you're not, if you're just carrying your pumps with you and not pumping the pumps at the bottom. Extra medicines and things that you don't, you're having just in case, but you don't need at the bottom. Everything else, the toys, the snacks, that needs to be near the top. Like, it's just not very, it's not very wide and that's kind of was my thing about it. So it didn't bother me in the newborn phase, but as I've started needing to get to everything all the time in my bag, it's really started to bother me. So that kind of thing is annoying, but, Inside of it, there is these pockets right here. Oh, it looks like I left my, I always keep that with me just in case, but these back pockets in here are not insulated. And these are good for like, as you saw, I, I kept this in there, but you could really fold up anything and put it in there. Um, sometimes I put toys, sometimes I put the snack, uh, the Gerber snacks container, all that kind of stuff. A lot of times I put that on the outside these days. And then on the other side of the backpack, there's these insulated bottle pockets. And that's great if you're somebody who bottle feeds or you need to keep something cold with you. You keep like, um, so squeeze pouches, all that kind of stuff. Like these have insulated bottle pockets. Then there is this little thing, this little mesh pocket right here. And I, since I use a wet dry bag as a wet dry bag, this is where I would keep her like Tylenol, teething pills, teether, like random stuff. I would keep it in here, but this is great for whatever. And then there is a laptop compartment. So I would take my laptop or my iPad in there and a I have a 16 inch MacBook Pro, it fits in there. So if you have anything smaller than that, it fits in there. It makes the bag really heavy. But again, if you're like me and you wanted to have a bag that fits everything and you're not carrying like 
and tons of bags, the baby, the stroller, all that kind of stuff. This is great. It fits it all. I believe that is it for the inside. So pocket here, pocket here. There's a zipper pocket here, um, laptop pocket here, and then the four pockets in here. And then of course the main just section. Then before diving to the fun back part of the bag, they have these jumbo um, pockets. And these are great because if your bag is full, it does not eat into the bag. It gives you as much space as possible. You can put a huge 40 ounce water bottle here no problem, probably bigger, but I know that fits in there. You can put the little Gerber snack container. You can put a water, just a normal water bottle, all different stuff. These are great. There's two of them, but yeah. Then on the back, it has these stroller straps. One of my biggest, biggest complaints about this bag, apart from the zippers not going down far enough, is that the stroller straps are sh I hate them. I lost them in the first like month I had this bag. You have to clip them on and then they don't hold, I don't, I wish I had them here to show you, but they don't hold form. And so you can't leave them on your stroller. They will fall off. And that's how I lost one of them. So technically I have one, I could go look for it somewhere, but they're not good. They should be like Velcro or they should, put a buckle loop or something here so you don't lose them. The last thing you wanna be doing is like spending a good minute trying to get your bag hooked on the stroller, especially if you're trying to act fast at the airport or something. But yeah, don't like the straps, not good. I actually use something else. I have straps attached to my stroller. They're these little Disney Mickey things. I'll link up at the bottom, I'll say Mickey stroller bag things or whatever but that's what I actually use for this bag. I just clip them onto that and I leave it on my stroller so I don't even have to worry. But yeah, the bags that, the straps that come with it are shit. Then it's got the trolley passage for your, your luggage. It's really nice and padded in the back, very comfortable. But then the zippers for the fun part, the changing table. And this folds out pretty big. My daughter is 10 months. Sorry, 11 months next next week, yes. And um, she's about average length and she fits on this great. It's so for sure will work for you the first year if your baby is on the average or shorter side. If your baby's kind of long, it could be small, but it's really nice. It keeps their hands clean when you put their head here. They can't reach around and touch gross stuff but it's a really nice area. It's padded, it's comfortable for them, it's great area right here is for your wipes quick access this is where I put diapers so I typically can fit five diapers in here so it's a pretty nice big thing without it affecting the backpack when it's closed then you can put like a teether here sometimes I can fold up the outfit the backup outfit small enough and leave it here if I went to the beach I actually use these pockets as like swim diapers or one of them as a swim diaper and a teether Cause you know, sometimes like giving them a toy when they're being changed keeps them more focused or quiet or not squirmy. So that's great to have in the back. But yeah, that is the base bag. And this just folds up really easily. And of course it's got the handle. I don't think I mentioned that, but yeah. And you just fold it up like that and you zip it up and it's really easy. You're not like fumbling. You can just easily zip it up and then Something that I get asked a lot, because apparently can people complained about, is these things, these straps, like if they're good quality, and I've never had a problem. I've been on so many flights with my baby this year. We travel excessively. We travel practically once a month, and I've never had a problem. I bring this bag on every single flight, and yeah, it's held up. It has no rips. It has no anything. Like, I pack it to the brim it it is it's held up it's been a great bag all right now talking about the pros and cons of the bag now I mentioned the stroller straps major con don't like it the other thing about it the bag when it's very fully packed the 
this part has a hard time staying closed. It flaps around. It's really annoying because if it's full, the magnets don't want to work. So I don't really like that. But it also doesn't come down deep enough. So as the baby's gotten older, I, f I have found this bag harder to use because I need to utilize a whole bag or get to everything in my bag. And so I haven't loved that. The other thing is I haven't honestly used the changing table as much as I hope because I use the fanny pack so much as the quick change item that I really only use that if I'm like at a restaurant and there's no changing table and I wanna clean I want to clean her on a clean surface or I'm at the park and I wanna change her privately. Those are times that I've used the back, but for it being such a feature that I wanted to buy the bag, I don't actually use it that much and I'm kind of surprised, but it's nice to have, but I really think I don't utilize it as much as I thought I would. Another thing about the bag is that when you start putting stuff in all the bottle pockets inside, if you put a lot of stuff up, it really eats up the bottom of the bag. And then another thing too is I find it a little weird that I'm these... Sorry. I find it a little weird that these compartments, I think they should have been bigger. Like they waste so much room right here. These should be like practically meeting it. Very few baby items can fit in here. I guess like, look like this, this looks like I had a teether in here, but like not much can fit in there. I don't know why more of this space isn't utilized. But those are my major, I would say, cons about the bag. Now, pros about the bag. This bag is huge. It's huge. I'll hold up the Lululemon bag. I know this isn't the review to compare both, but it's bigger. Like, it's bigger. If you hold it to the side, it's bigger. It's a way bigger bag. I'm about 5'2". When it's full, it's a big bag on me. So that is a pro. If you want this again to be one bag for you and baby, it does fit a lot of stuff. Though it could be a con because I, like I said, I only use this bag for travel or going out all day. If I'm just like going out to Target or I'm going out and running errands or something, I don't need to bring a full big bag. I just don't. I bring like a small caddy I have, or I actually will just throw a couple things in my purse, or I have a car caddy. So I like don't need this whole thing. This is more if I'm like going hiking or to the beach or something all day, or I'm gonna be away from my car, or I'm not close to where, I guess it's still my car, but where I parked. But the airplane, amazing, great, love it. Um, long trip where again you're away from your car great amazing love it lots of storage the other thing about it is this bag when it's all full like I don't I don't carry my pumps with me anymore because like I said I'm exclusively breastfeeding so I have more room in the bag these days I can fit my carrier in my bag so once I put everything in I can actually fold up and fit my carrier in the bag so my carrier isn't even a separate item to hold it fits in the bag so I can fit all of my stuff the baby stuff the carrier when she's not wearing it in this bag and that's what makes this bag amazing if they changed those little things this came down further the space was better utilized in this in the back this bag would be absolutely amazing. Oh, and the stroller straps. This bag would be absolutely amazing. And those little things to me are why I actually feel like I need to stop using the bag because I feel like I need to get into the bag more. So this is great, I would say, for the first year of their life or if you bring a lot of stuff. But after that, I would say we're approaching her becoming a toddler, more mobile and stuff. I need a bag I can really dig around in, especially when I'm on the plane or especially when I'm out and about. I need to 
easily get to stuff in there. And this little thing is a huge no-no for me. And the space problem with those squares is a big no-no. But that is the Bays bag. If you have any questions about the Bays bag or want me to show something in more detail, please comment in the comment section below and I'll create a little video for you. Maybe I'll drop it on my TikTok if it's just something small or maybe I'll create another full review on it. I'll go ahead and link all that below. If you are curious about how I pack my bag, I could do a more thorough video of it. But like I said, all of that fits in there. Those little things that I just said that I am not in love with the bag has caused me to buy the Lululemon bag. And so now at 11 months, I am going to be probably switching to this bag and I am beyond excited. I'm going to be doing a full look at this Lululemon bag. I'll probably attempt packing it to see how it compares to my Bays bag. If you're interested in those videos, like subscribe to my channel so you don't miss them. Once I post them, I'll come back to this video and I'll link them in the description below. But yeah, that is the Bays bag. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're new here, hi, I'm Emily. Like and subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.